this is my second time recording this video because the first video I recorded, I had no sound. Then I turned my effing microphone on. <sighs> but yes, I have my Selena earring on, my Selena jewelry, my Selena lips. Yes, am I giving you Selena vibes? Am I giving them to you? Am I? Do you feel the Selena vibes? Do you feel them? Do you feel the Selena vibes? Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for being here and I really appreciate your time. So I'm going to be giving you my brief thoughts and opinions on the new Selena, the series uh, show that's on Netflix right now. And I just want to tell you if you are like me and you initially saw the photos released <laughs> and you were like, um, don't do Selena like this. Like, don't do, don't do it. I'm just going to tell you that you have nothing to fear, nothing to worry about. Um, the show is amazing, <laughs> um, and they do a, an excellent job with really, um, bringing Selena to life. Like, I learned so many things about Selena that I didn't know. Like, I mean, I don't consider myself a super fan, but I thought I knew of Selena pretty well, but I turned out I didn't. <laughs> so I'm just going to be giving, um, a few points about why I think you should watch the show and I won't be giving you any spoilers so because I want you to see it for yourself but just a, just a few points so number one I just want to say that the costume design is absolutely phenomenal they nailed everything even even the setting the sets like the set pieces the bedroom furniture the, the way the houses look the way the store looks when you go to Target like everything looks like it's actually back in the 80s like it's actually real and they did such a great job with establishing her home life and them eating at the table like it was just like it was so good like I felt like I was watching maybe like really high production value um home videos but it was absolutely fantastic I was completely completely impressed I feel like that has a lot to do like especially like the 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 way that they stage their um their, their home, you know, their dining room table, you know, how the van looks. I think a lot of that has to do with uh, one of the executive producers being her sister, uh, Suze Quintanilla. So I think that she definitely was utilized well. And Netflix did their homework. Like, what is, what is, what else is, you know, better than you have something that's, that's about a real life person and then you actually can see the care taken and making sure that there's, that their story is told correctly. So, good job, Netflix. <laughs> what else do I wanna talk about? Oh, I just, I didn't know that Selena didn't know how to speak Spanish, that she, you know, she didn't fluently speak it. She had to learn how to um, speak Spanish in order to sing it in the songs, as well as how to talk to the hosts when she went on these different um, Latin American uh, television shows like the hosts were speaking to her in Spanish and she didn't know how to respond from that first so she had to get better at learning how to you know have a, a natural conversation speaking Spanish I I didn't know that you know I didn't know that Selena had so many hairstyles um by the time I came along and or should I say by the time I I, I knew who she was you know, she had had her signature look, the you know, the nice full bangs and long black hair. That's how I think of Selena. So to see her with these asymmetrical bobs and like short, short hair and like all burn hair, it's like, what? Like, and I'm actually going to do like a little slideshow of all these pictures I found on the internet. Because while I was seeing this, I was like Googling like, wait, what? Like this is, can I see more pictures of this? And yes, she did have these hairstyles. So I'm actually going to show you some of these pictures that I found in a slideshow. Right? 
crazy. Um, but yeah, so another thing I just wanted to mention is, okay, so I was born in 1992. So by the time I was old enough to know who famous people are and pay attention to that stuff, she was well, you know, well known at that time. She was already Selena. I didn't know all of this about her. Like that is just so crazy. And so this show really educated me on her background. Like it really showed me her journey and her rise to fame. And I, I have more appreciation for her now um, because I didn't understand that music was her way out. It, it helped her family quite literally provide for themselves and it helped them out of poverty. And I, I, I just didn't know that. It's just, you know, really, 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 you know, humbling to find out, you know, how she really started off. And kudos to the actors as well, who played her brother and sister, um, Suzette and A.B. They really, really, really nailed it. Like, I completely thought that all three of them were related. They acted, you know, interacted well with each other. Uh, the actor that played Selena's father, Abraham, was his name. <laughs> Ricardo Antonio nailed Abraham. Like, you know, very, very, very stern and like, you know, organized and, you know, no nonsense. But at the same time, thoughtful. Nobody is talking to you. Like, nobody is talking to you, Siri. But the actress that played her mother did an incredible job. Like, you know, just loving and nurturing. And I could just, Im I can just imagine that's probably how her mother um, actually worked. I think that Christian Serratos did an excellent job characterizing Selena. Um, you know, you know, playing her sometimes being like meek and quiet and reserved and just like, uh, you know, and really, 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 really concerned about what her father thinks and, you know, you know, feeling like the pressure of everything on her, but then being very like, you know, very, very vocal and opinionated about what she wants to wear, how she needs her outfits. Like, I didn't, I, I well, I guess I kind of knew a little bit from the um, movie that Jennifer Lopez played in that Selena kind of designed some of her outfits, but I didn't know she was like a regular at the fabric store. Like, that is really crazy. And it's just, it just makes me so sad that she was not able to stick around and really develop her fashion line because I think if she was still alive today, she would be coming out of great fashions and I'm pretty sure I would be wearing some of her clothes. Um, I didn't realize that she was so into fashion, almost just as much as she was into her music. I just, I felt like if you watch the series, you will feel closer to Selena. You will feel closer to the person that she was and she'll be less of this like, you know, you know, iconic star that was taken from us too soon and more of a person, more of an actual human being that had people who loved her and supported her and was really passionate about all things and was really kind. Like that's what I, I think that's what I loved about Selena so much and why as a child, I really couldn't understand how she was murdered. Because it's one thing when someone passes away in a car accident or a plane crash or if they die from, you know, sickness or something like that. But when someone murders you, to me at least, it, 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 it puts me in a mindset of, okay, so someone has to hate you or not like you. And it's crazy to me how someone could have not liked Selena or hated her in order to kill her. Like, that doesn't make any sense to me. The, the lady who was the president of her fan club was obsessed. And obsessions can very easily turn dark. So, you know, but yeah, uh, I just, I, I can't, I can't rave enough about this show. I think if you were nervous in the beginning, you have no, nothing to fear, watch the show, you will enjoy it. You will get those good feelings from it. My, my favorite scene out of the entire series, and I'll just say this, and I won't give too much information because it's spoiler free, but the scene where Selena and Chris meet for the first time at her house, the way that that shot, it just gives you all like the goosebumps and like the first feelings that you feel the first time you love someone like oh. and then they have um i could fall in love they have that playing in the background and it's just like ah! like it's just so good like you get you just feel all the goosebumps like it's so well directed like 
it's just ah, oh, it's just they did such a great job on this show kudos to netflix for doing their homework kudos to netflix for taking the time and really handling this 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 you know selena's story well thank you for not throwing something out just to capitalize off of it and really taking the time to make sure that you know selena's story is told well and respectfully and authentically like yes 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 good job <laughs> that's all i have to say so thank you so much for watching and uh take care bye